Before I start the list for my top five favorite Rankin Bass films, I'm going to start with um, an a uh, bonus six, aka an honorable mention, and it's Twas the Night Before Qu Christmas. This was uh, from um, Warner Brothers, and uh, Warner Brothers distributed it. Wonderful little family film, love it. I always been a fan for the 2D Rankin Bass stuff. If you don't like the uh, Clay stuff, or even tired of Frosty the Snowman <laughs> for the 50,000th time, check this one out. It's a it's a lovely movie. Uh, the standout, in my opinion, is Joel Gray as Joshua. Always, always enjoyed this uh, this film. It's one of my favorites of the Rankin Bass. Just you know, didn't again didn't make top five. Like it could make top five. I always change around, but uh, like in my mind, but um, on on uh, on here right now, it's uh, a uh, bonus six. So that's that. Now on our top five, I am going to start with the Easter Bunny is coming to town. I love the Rankin Bass uh, non Christmas movies as well. They're they're very fun, and. Uh, Believe it or not, one of them is my number one. So I'm um, starting with it was either this or the other, and believe it or not, just wait until you you see it. But um, Easter Bunny is coming to town is a is in my opinion a wonderful little film. It has Fred Astaire as S. D. Kluger. Yes, Santa Claus is coming to town, S. D. Kluger, and uh, it's kind of cool. You see these beautiful little. Little uh, colors, you, you, uh, you know, for this being a puppet, for these being puppets, like, or clay or whatever it is, wonderful. It's a wonderful little film, and um, I like it. I, I like seeing things outside of just seeing, uh, you know, the same setting. I love seeing different settings, and. Uh, I like not seeing snow. I don't know. It's it's again. It's really cool to see see something different. Speaking of S. D. Kluger, number four, Santa Claus coming to town, which is it's a masterpiece. It's a great movie. Uh, more importantly, better way to tell you. Uh, S.D. Kluger sings, uh, My World is Beginning, Jessica Song. And of course, Mickey Rooney is put one foot in front of the other, which is just a classic. And um, if you sit on my lap today, a lot of people think it's such a creepy... So it's a man si singing to sick children or whatever, children that done nothing to anybody... Leave this song alone. And, uh, yeah, I, I like this. I like the kind of the story behind it. And, uh, yeah, a lot of Rinkin Bass did Santa really well. At least the origin stories. Because uh, my number three is another Santa Claus origin story, which I kind of like slightly more. Number three is a film I definitely want to review. It's part of the Warner Archive collection, and uh, it's a wonderful little movie. Uh, it gives me a vibe of Santa Claus the Movie, another one I want to uh, re review. It has a, like, which Santa Claus the Movie, it's like, because it's, it's, it's like a Superman movie, but Santa Claus in it. Um, and in some ways, it kind of gives me that vibe. Like, it's a good it's a really good movie. Um, <clears throat> it just shows you something different about, you know, it shows you a different kind of story. And I like how uh, Arthur and Jules did that because they already did a, 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 a you know, a uh, superb origin story of Santa. They did another superb origin story of Santa it was completely different and the atmosphere is great the characters are just are really great and uh, again it's uh, Rankin Bass is very 
overlooked on a lot of things because the way the puppets or clay or whatever it looks like. This is a very well done, in my opinion, and uh, I absolutely enjoy it. Number two is the first uh, Christmas movie I'm going to re uh, review after this. It's a it's one of my childhood favorites. It has it has Vixen looking like R Rudolph, <laughs> but um, <laughs> some of the uh, you know some of the really good songs are on here like I believe in Santa Claus or it's gonna snow ho oh, oh, right here in Dixie. And then, of course, Snow Miser, Heat Miser songs. And uh, the really, really underrated Year Without a Santa Claus song. Um, it's one of those. Also has one of the most depressing scenes I've ever seen um, in all of, like, children's f or family films. And that is the... The little girl writing to possibly sick little girl writing to Santa. I'll have a blue Christmas without you. Sad. <laughs> and believe it or not, my number one has always been my number one since I can remember. And it's not a Christmas movie. It is a Easter movie. It is a spring movie. It is Here Comes Peter Cottontail. Hosted by... Danny Kay, and oh, I love this, love this movie. It's got Casey Kasem, Shaggy Rogers himself. It's got uh, such great animation, like puppetry, uh, clay, whatever animation uh, I really like. It's got heart. It's got wonderful heart to it. It's got uh, something that, you know, I see, because this was after uh, Santa Claus coming to town. And I like how um, couldn't get Fred Astaire this time, like the first time, but you got his buddy Danny Kay. So that's cool. One of uh, George Carlin's uh, heroes. So that's really, really... Um, very inspiring movie to me. Just be the heart it has that people don't really see anymore. People don't really understand. And uh, that's why it's my number one. So, and for personal reasons. But uh, that's that. Hope you like this. Bye-bye.